are watching Wine Country Citizen. There's no better way to understand and experience wines than to drink a lot of different wines, always in moderation, of course. And the best way to do that is to actually travel to wine growing regions. And that's just what we are doing. On today's episode, we travel to Bordeaux, often known as the source of world wine culture. City, crossing the river Garonne. A lot of times when experts sit down to taste the best Bordeaux, the first thing they try to guess is whether it comes from the left bank or the right bank. In the heart of wine country, Bordeaux is just three hours away from Paris by train. The city's serious splendor has a youthful spirit about it. There are plenty of wine museums and wine schools here and wine estates not too far. A very pleasant city to walk in, Bordeaux also has an efficient transport system. A perfect shopping destination for those looking for designer labels and of course for vintage wine. The chic wine bar of the Wine Council of Bordeaux was my first stop. Bordeaux appellations can get as simple or as complicated as one wants them to be. I was offered a glass of sweet, intense, golden sauterne, which for most is the world's best dessert wine. This wine can be had right after a spicy meal, and for me it worked as a great aperitif just before I started unraveling Bordeaux appellations. We could say that you have three basic sub-regions in, in Bordeaux. You have the left bank, you have the what we call entre de mer, which is in between two seas. These are not actually two seas, these are two rivers, but we like to exaggerate a little bit. And you have the right bank, which is the region of Saint-Emilion. In the sub-regions, you will get in the left bank more tannins, more structured wines that are able to age. In the right bank, you will get more feminine, more supple, and more Merlot-based wines. And the entre de mer, you will get easy to drink wines. But overall, this is the Bordeaux style, and these are wines that are made of different grapes to achieve a certain balance, which is the, the Bordeaux style. I'm in a gigantic warehouse where they have three million bottles of Bordeaux Grand Cru Classé, and I have only three minutes to make my choice, so I'd better get going fast. In 1855, the Bordeaux Chamber of Commerce came up with a list of 61 great wines of Bordeaux based on their prices at that time and the track record for the last 100 years. These became the classified growth wines or Grand Cru Classé. A charming medieval village surrounded by vineyards. saint emilion is just 35 kilometers away from Bordeaux. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and also a wine lover's paradise. Wine making regulations were very strict in Saint Emilio even in the 12th century. So much so that when a winemaker broke a rule, he was forced to roll up his barrel of wine up narrow, steep streets like this one. appointment at the Saint Emilio Wine School so I read up a little on wines beforehand and I was going to be the brightest student in class primarily because I was going to be the only one 